So here are five reasons why you should register your school for the Churchill Archive and make use of the Churchill Archive for Schools.com resources. One, you'll build students' confidence in using primary sources, an important historical skill that appears on school curricula worldwide. Textbooks tend to digest the material for students, they regurgitate it in the right order, sometimes they, there's a narrative voice in the textbook, they'll have a teacher possibly as well talking to them about this, but with the archive, quite often the student is alone with the source and the screen, and they have to really find their feet with it. You're, you're, you're there, you know what I mean? You can imagine you're in his head sort of, and looking at what he personally thought about what was going on at that time. The Churchill Archives, it shows you all the different intricate ways that history works. You see the letters sent from Churchill to Clement Attlee about how he was trying to convince him to do certain things. You see the side you don't usually see as we experience it in real life. You see everything that's happening behind the scenes. Two, you'll be encouraging them to engage with historical events and make connections to the present day. Being able to contextualise events and understand historical concepts like change, continuity, cause and consequence will make students better historians. Well, I think mainly people talk about the differences um, between the past and where we are now. But I think what's more interesting is looking at the similarities of understanding that we are all connected somehow through our own universal history. What I enjoy about studying history is that um, that I can go back in like time and see all the amazing people um, and what they've done and how they've helped the world to become what it is like today. Three, the investigations will help students understand key topics in modern international history. And the wide range of investigations means there's something to suit everyone. My group studied, did nuclear weapons make the world safer between 1945 and 1951, which then allowed us to look through the archives and the sources that we were given to help us answer the question. I found interesting how um, the suffragettes used violence instead of peace to be peaceful and law abiding. Four, the resources are very flexible, so you can use them in whatever way suits your teaching, with the whole class, for group work or as homework assignments. And um, what's great about the Churchill uh, Archive as well is you have a simplified resource and then you have a, a more detailed resource. So also that differentiates for children and, and, and being a secondary school teacher that's very important because all children are different types of learners. It's important that our students can have access to that. Obviously you can't travel from all over the country to the archives, so to have them arriving in your school computer room is a real asset to history teachers. Five. And last, but by no means least, the activities will help students develop the research skills that are vital for success in higher education. It's never too early to start. This has helped me develop skills like analysing language, being able to pick out the information that is just necessary. Also being able to like, skim read and just um, pick out the quotes that are the best for your argument or whatever you're learning about. You know, seeing the year eight students today, having a go at that and evaluating sources in a really uh, mature way like a historian does, it's going to go a long way, I think, for their development as young historians, definitely. So please join the 2000 schools who've already registered for the Churchill Archive and make the most of this fantastic resource by visiting churchillarchiveforschools.com.